Well, I suppose before I get too far ahead of myself here that I better um, make a video about this or else uh, I'll just be too far ahead and won't even think about it. So this weekend, I picked up a, a new body for the four-wheel drive um, Traxxas Stampede, the brushless edition, as you can see right now. So anyhow, as you can see, through this new body, picked up some Proline body mounts, which, um, not a bad price from the local hobby shop. No, remember, no shipping. And I don't know if you can see that there, but... Uh, I gotta take a look here. It says forty-seven ninety-five is what the MSRP is on these things. So yeah, that was a little bit better. And anyhow, replaced these uh, standard body mounts that weren't exactly straight anymore. They've been well used. And um, it's a little weird. Uh, this one was on the back. And this one that really stretches farther back was on the front. I don't know if that's how it's supposed to be or not, but that's what it was. But I flipped them. I put the really long one to the back here. And I put the short one up front. Because, as you see, I purchased a J Concepts 82 GMC K2500 body. So, this way kind of went the other way around. It was $49.99 and MSRP $38. <laughs> but you gotta remember that MSRP, that is an American dollar price and my prices are Canadian. And right now the dollar is not doing very good. So anyhow, this body is pretty interesting. That is all the options it comes with for girls early grill all the way to the late grill at the top you got uh, well, your taillights are all the same GMC Chevrolet logos your custom deluxe 10 20s and 30s Silverados your Scottsdale's custom deluxe different uh, eras right your Cheyenne Sierra Grande Chevy GMC license plates, which are only apparently United States of America. Are those uh, like for official use only plates? <laughs> um, tailgate, I guess, never changed. And uh, according to where my thumb is here, the, the door handles didn't change. So, um, should be good. I don't know what grill I really want to put in there. Not sure if I want this earlier style or if I want maybe this one right here in the middle. That one kind of screams suburban. I don't know why. And these guys, I don't know if I'll put in. <clears throat> but I have, uh, I'll have extras for other bodies. Just not the taillights and all that other stuff. So then, too, because I like some of the pictures I was seeing, I'm going to go with. Uh, PS13 metallic green for polycarbonate bodies. Hope one can does it because local hobby shop, uh, it's not bad. 13 bucks for for that one. But part of another project, I, 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 I had to pick up some backer. So for this one, I picked up PS23 gunmetal because they had no black left. And this one, $12.99. Uh, I don't know if I should show this. This might give away the next project if you've been watching the channel for a long time. PS57 Pearl White. Give you a second to think of what the price was on this one, but 18 bucks versus 14 bucks, which was bad enough for that. But the gunmetal, that's going to be the, my backer color, which is going to make my, um, <coughs> sorry, my green stick out a little bit more. Uh, you can kind of see the guy in the background there. Pretty sure he's got black backing for his. Although that might be a hard body. I don't know. But so I think, I don't know, I'm debating about whether to trim it first or paint it first. I was just setting up body posts first, so I made sure I had that right. 
I got the masks and everything to put inside, but I got to wash the body before I do any of that. Uh, it's kind of sad. There's little J Concepts logos here, but they'll be cut out when it's done. And I think I have the wheel wells. Well, so yeah, I, I can't quite shove it far enough ahead because this bumper is catching where this will be cut out, this flashing. And then I'm going to have lots of room here. See, like, oh, like, a, I don't know, camera's not liking this. Oh, had it for a second there. But it's kind of like right on these body lines of the hood. And these ones in the back here are for a little bit farther in, but I think I'm going to kind of like that. I might need to line it up a little bit better. And I should have got another set of these tires when I was at the hobby shop, but I didn't think about it until I was home. So I should be able to line these up good. You know, get that shoved ahead just a little bit. I should line up good. And then I'll be rocking a Chevy again. So we'll see how this goes. Anyhow, I thought that would be just a little teaser. Um, I don't know. It's gonna. It's been raining now for two days. It's going to rain all week. I have a lot of time to work on this. So hopefully I get her done. And um, if you guys are interested too, I'll give you one second here. October the 5th in Regina, Saskatchewan, on uh, 1 and 11 Albert Street North, uh, RC Hobbies is having Rocktoberfest. Uh, free hot dogs, uh, show and shine. They're going to have a, a little time trial course thing there. They said they're going to bring some stuff from the flying field in to be able to do this. Um, they're doing some swag stuff and, uh, they say <laughs> only one entry into the time trial course, but I can bring as many as I want to show, show off. So I think I'll bring a few for that. So if you guys, you know, are in the Regina area that day, I'll be there for sure. Uh, so far I'm planning on being there probably the whole day. Uh, we'll see what happens. But anyhow, uh, I'll show you guys what happens with this uh, this truck later, because uh, I think it's gonna be pretty awesome. <laughs>